Hello, this is Bosco's Toy Box, back with more toy collectibles, usually for thrift store uh, toy finds, but right now I have two Mutant Mania 4-packs to open up. So let's open these up and see which ones I got. And the first one that always comes in the see-through window now this one actually let's, let's just take it out because I'm sure that sound is pretty annoying with the plastic okay so the first one looks like he is some kind of a rhinoceros and almost have them together here so he's got a mohawk, he's kind of got that, um, which one is it, Bebop or Rocksteady, got a, I, my mind is going blank right now, but from Turtles, he's got the necklace uh, chain around his neck, he's got um, kind of a little grin there, red shorts, high top sneakers there. So, I'll just show you the back, even though there's not much to the back. But, cool little figure. Kind of like that. Okay. So, figure number two. We will open up. And, this is actually... A translucent of no where is he this is a translucent of the bear as you can see okay so I will hold him up close an orangish translucent so I do not have this so now that completes the set for this character and then I'll just set these off to the side hopefully they'll stand up Okay, so the next one is another translucent. And trying to see if I have him or not. Just bear with me one moment here. There we go. This looks like the caveman, which I'm almost betting that I do have it. There he is. So this is the red translucent of the caveman. So I'll show you the one that I already have. Okay. And then this is the one I just got. So it's nice little red translucent. And come on, focus. There we go. So as you can see, like I've been saying with the translucent ones, you really can't get that much detail in like you can like with the ones here on the left here. Just because it, you know, it brings out their clothes if they're wearing any and any kind of weapons or any kind of items that they might be holding or even their faces too because as you can see with this one, he's uh, his teeth are sticking out and this one you were just really can't can barely tell that his teeth are sticking out. I mean, it really takes a good look. Okay, and then the last one, which is actually uh, one that's in detail, the color one, looks really good. I do not have this one. So. <clears throat> And I lost his head. Where did it, there we go. Okay. So this one I'm he's got he's looks like he's a medieval not medieval, but he's he looks like he's an evil doctor. Because as you can see there's a severed foot in his hand. He almost looks like he's got this monkey face kind of going on. 
And then he's got a surgical knife in his hand. And then there's some detail in his uh, scrubs. And then he's got only one red shoe. And the other one is kind of like a veiny... Looks like there's veins or something on his leg. But that is cool. I like that one. Now, I would like to see if you can bear with me. Because I would like to see if that doctor is a... Um, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to find this guy here. No. Okay, because I don't want to take too long looking for him. Because I do not see him on the list right now. Because uh, he's not a zombie. He's not a brutal beast. I don't think... I mean, he should be a, man, a mutant man if he's a doctor, but... Um, Alright, well, I'll just have to open up the second set here. And, uh... We'll just go from there. And then if I find it you know, later on, then I'll just uh, show it off. Okay, so the second set... I will show you... The figure that you get in the window. Which is the reason I picked this guy out because he did have just kind of a weird face. Okay. And snap this into place. So as you can see, he's got a weird face. I'm not too sure. He almost looked like he's a lion, maybe, because he's got... I'm not sure if that, if you can tell in the back of his head there, if that's supposed to be like some kind of crown. I, I do not know, but he looks like he's some kind of a mutant lion. And I don't know what that pipe looking thing is in his hand. And of course, I might know something by the by his name from the checklist, but I'm gonna open up the other mutant man. Now this now this is interesting too because this first package that I have opened up, and actually the previous packages that I've I've opened up, all of their body parts have been in these little baggies, which actually takes time to open these up. But now I open up this package. And now they come, all three of them come in one big bag. So that's interesting. Uh, uh, that's, that's new for me. Okay, so the first one... Um, which I really like. And... Even though it's translucent, I'm like really digging... This character I do not have in its original color state. But, and then he just fell apart now. But if I had this guy in the color state, he probably... He would probably be my top, like, three, top five character. So, as you can see, this is like a Viking. Like a mutant Viking. He's got, and I'm holding on to one of his hands here, but he's got four four arms, one with an, a battle axe, one with a shield, and then the Viking hat on top of his head. And then he's got, it looks like a turkey chicken leg, or turkey leg, a, uh, a chicken leg. I think, or it looks like it might be a fish, because, actually, now that I'm looking at this closer, it's got eyeballs. Yes, it is. It's a fish, because it's got uh, a tail, so he's holding on to a fish, but that is a pretty darn cool figure. I do like that, and 
Come on, focus. Okay. But I absolutely love that figure. And I'm hoping I can get this figure in its original form. That is a kick-ass figure. Alright, this next figure I already have. So, Vampire, you will be getting this in your trade box. Because, now he's, oh, because he's not put on correctly. That's why he looks like he's off kilter here. Okay, so as you can see, this is the figure that I got. And he's a, a, he's a mantis by the checklist. And then as you can see, if I reach in the back here, I already have him. So Vampire has already uh, claimed stake on all the doubles, which I'm happy to give him all my doubles. And then the last figure, which I'm trying to figure out what he looks like. I'm pretty sure he's an insect because of the category. Um, yes, uh, it, Actually, he's a common figure, but his name is Leg Breaker. And he is in the Insectozoids uh, category on the checklist. Actually, a pretty cool looking figure because you can, you can, his head is a pretty cool little sculpt there. He's got boxing gloves on. He's got a chain around his neck. But that is actually a po uh, pretty cool figure. I like that guy. Okay. So, one other thing that I forgot to show in my last thrift store video was this um, puppet that I actually got. And these, I got it for like, it's like three or four dollars. And this company that makes them is called Folk Manus, I'm, I think. And I don't know if I'm going to have to back the camera up because this is a pretty damn large puppet but let's see if I can show it to you so it is an alligator and if it can focus these puppets by this company called Folk Manus they run about 30 40 50 dollars because I actually bought a dog one when I went to San Francisco a couple years ago and it cost like 50 bucks because it has like really um, realistic hair on the dog and it's just a a pretty um just a large puppet i mean it's, it's it's as large as this alligator and i'll show you it still has a tag so it's like this is brand new so um three or four dollars i forget what i paid for this but it is a puppet and it's just it's an awesome thing i mean nothing dirty about this or torn or ripped it looks like it was brand new. And so let me get this out of the way now. I just forgot to show that. That is not up for trade. And that is going to go in my puppet collection that I have. And that is it. So as far as the doubles go, there is one double. And again, that goes to Vampire. And that was um, more than Mutant uh, Manias, which I'll probably be opening up some more Probably in a couple weeks, because I probably won't go back out and get any more until um, uh, payday or something. I, I'm not too sure, but until next time, this is Bosco signing off.